is surface water. Surface water is found on the surface of Earth. Examples of surface water include seas, ponds and rivers. Surface water can be polluted by waste materials from industrial and housing areas, excessive fertilizers and pesticides from agriculture areas also pollute river water. Underground water is the water present beneath the Earth's surface and fills the spaces in soil, sand and rock below a certain depth until it reaches an impermeable layer. Aquifer is a layer beneath the ground composed of porous rocks containing water. Aquifer acts as a natural underground water reservoir and is able to supply water to the rivers during the shortage of rainfall or drought. Leaching of chemical fertilizers and pesticides in agriculture exposes underground water to the risk of pollution. Chemicals from industrial and domestic waste in landfills carry the risk of polluting underground water. A mineral is a natural substance found in the earth crust. Economic minerals are minerals with high economic values. They are extracted from the earth and processed for various applications related to constructions, manufacturing, agriculture, and energy supply. Economic minerals are classified into metallic minerals, non-metallic minerals, and rare earth minerals. Examples of metallic minerals are tin ore, iron ore, copper, and gold. Examples of non-metallic minerals are granite, limestone, and fossil fuel like coal and petroleum. Examples of rare earth minerals are scandium and yttrium. Metallic minerals have many uses. For example, iron in the form of steel is used in cars or frames of buildings. Copper is used in electrical wiring. Precious metals such as gold are used in jewelries and electronic devices. Non-metallic minerals are used in various industrial applications including chemical manufacturing, glass, fertilizers, plastics, papers and many more. Fields such as coal, natural gas and petroleum are used as fuels for motorized vehicles to produce electricity and in the manufacture of plastics. Rare earth minerals are used in the manufacture of various electronic products such as mobile phone, hybrid car batteries, flat plasma panel display, LED and many more. Next, let's look at the formation of petroleum. Dead land organisms were buried underground. Dead marine organisms sank into the seabed. Millions of years ago, plants and animals died. After millions of years, the dead organism became more embedded into the earth below thick layers of stone and mud. Through the action of bacteria, partial decomposition occurred in a state of oxygen shortage. The continuous decomposition by bacteria under high temperature and pressure finally produced petroleum and natural gas. Next, let's look at the formation of coal. Millions of years ago, plants died naturally. The remains were buried under layers of sediment and mud. Under high pressure and heat, fossil of plants turned slowly into coal. In terms of geology, hydrothermal is associated with water under high temperature conditions. This means hydrothermal is related to the water heated by the internal heat of the earth. The steam from the hot water in the earth can be used to drive turbines in a power station to generate electrical energy. Hydrothermal solution is the underground heated water 
rich in various dissolved minerals. Precipitation of minerals from hydrothermal solution produces mineral deposits such as gold, copper, tin, lead, silver and many others which are economically important. Hot spring recreational parks have become top ecotourism destinations in Malaysia. Earth is abundant with a wide variety of natural resources. Most of the Earth's resources have been used heavily for the purpose of human life. Exploitation of the natural resources without proper planning has caused lots of damages to the environment. The impact is often indicated by the occurrence of geohazards such as landslides and flash floods that have claimed millions of lives and property damage. Therefore, precautionary and remedial measures should be taken to prevent the adverse effects. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you.